It's the game show with Joshua Martin Corrales. Slippery climb. I was gonna give you guys. I was gonna go ahead and uh, cut the episode because honestly, I beat Pinstripe. That's as far as I really was expecting to get. So we're gonna actually. I, I. I. You know, I was gonna stop playing, but I will continue just because I'm at the slippery climb and. If I can make my way up this slippery climb, who knows what awaits me? Who knows? Because the road to nowhere made me cry. We'll see what this place does. One, spookies. It spooks me. It spooks me out. This place is spooky. And clearly very slippery. And clearly incredibly treacherous. See, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. In this game, you know, you, you hit the spike in the bottom, you spin in a black fade. Like, come on, we know he got impaled by that spike. It's like... Woo! My raw skill. My raw skill in this. We're, we're really seeing it come out. We're really... If I didn't have 26 lives, I would be, you know... A little bit more upset. If I didn't have 25 lives, I'd be a little bit more upset. I'd fast forward till I can get this first jump in the whole episode, but I don't know if you guys really, I don't really want to, want to have to, uh, I, I'm going to do it though. I'm going to really do it. I'm going to do a quick speed up here until I can get down the first jump of this level. Okay. All right. So see you in a minute. I did it. We're back. <laughs> I did it. I made the first jump of the level. Aren't you guys proud of me? Aren't you proud of me, Dad? Oh, all right. Well, we're just going to fast forward again until I'm over the, ho the whole of that. The whole of that nonsense. Uh, until, you know, I have made my way into an area where I can be a little bit more dignified in my, um, my ability to play this game. And here we are. We're back. There's a grummy hand guy down here. He's not going to stick his hand out as long as I'm standing around spinning, though. Jerk. Jerk face. Alright. We're here. I, I can, you can tell we're, like, actually ascending the castle now. It's interesting. You can really tell we've made some, like, actual progress. Like, that's what I like about having the physicality of a map. It is very nice to, you know, add that kind of level of... Oh man, we really you know are, are moving forward. Like I, I physically can tell that we're moving backwards. We're moving all the way back to fast forward. This giant duck get me. I'm my own man. I'm my own man who can't be defeated by birds. I'm my own man who can't be hurt by words. Just be hurt by your actions. Just wait till he's. Okay, here we go. Alright, we made it past. We're back. We're we made it past the part. Uh, that I, you know, had made it to. And we're gonna see how much longer it takes until I hit another part where I'm gonna fast forward. Hopefully I get a checkpoint anytime soon. No time soon, it looks like. Probably behind, beyond these birds. Just beyond these birds. Not quite. Not just beyond these birds. Uh, oh my gosh. I like that you guys get to hear my raw pain at this point. You just get to hear me moan and groan. That's, <laughs> that's all I can do. As we continue further into this level and with no sight of a checkpoint. Um,
Still nothing. That really adds a degree of treacherousness, though, doesn't it? You know, the fact that I'm dead. Oh, here. Oh, oh, mighty lord. I, I don't have enough time for this. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I literally cannot deal with that nonsense. Checkpoint! You saved me from myself. I was ready to face my destruction, but you said no. I... I don't quite understand what's going on with these, but I'll pretend I do. Oh, they're on like a rotating. Oh, that's weird. All right, we can hear there's someone breaking things over there. What's this guy? Just shaking them up and tossing them out. Just ch 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 jam. 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 I like how he's shaking him up. He's shaking him up really well, honestly. He's doing a good job. As is a uh, constant in, in all game design. <laughs> As is a constant in all game design. It's gonna just be louder. That'll make me more confident. Uh, isn't it funny when you, you, you like... You, you point out something in game design, you realize that, like, oh, man, this isn't everything. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. But Aaron talks about it in uh, Game Grumps about conveyance. Like, we see this guy over here, not presented by any other obstacles. Like, he's a threat. He could definitely kill us, but he's unlikely to do it at this point. Uh... Uh... So, so, uh, we know what we're going to be dealing with next time, um, if we get back and we get further, we're going to uh, know that there's going to be a similar guy up ahead or that there could be similar guys up ahead. We don't know exactly what they're going to tell us, you know, that's, th that's the other thing that's nice about conveyance is that conveyance just shows you, it introduces you to a portion of the puzzle because in reality, when you are experiencing this on top of additional pressures, you have no idea what could be going on and how uh, the inclusion of that element could affect you. But you can guess now that you've had that experience. Fun times. If I don't make it this time, it's another fast forward, guys. It's another one. Isn't that great? Isn't that, guys, what you, what you were saying earlier? You're like, Joshua, you're pretty good at this game. Too good. We don't have enough fast forwards. We need to see a level where you're truly suffering. And here it is. You finally got to see it. Yeah, welcome. The slippery slope. You thought it was uh, Road to Nowhere or Edge of Tomorrow or whatever the name of that level was. But it wasn't. It was this. It was this right here. And I made the jump this time. So you can all believe in me again. You guys are free to, you know, start believing in me once more. And if you don't believe in me anymore, uh, that's fine. Because I don't believe in myself either. And it's fast forward time. <laughs> Back on Duck Bridge. I like these evil ducks, honestly. I think they're really funny looking. Alive! Another one of these guys. We don't have any of the, the girl, just um, more embryo. So, look forward to an exciting embryo death level. excited for more bird-based platforming it's real it's real and it's happening right now on this show and bonus rounds also happening and real bonus round we're gonna get to see so it's the spooky place the green plant isn't this the same place i'm okay guys <laughs> I'm really, I'm really, I'm just fine and dandy. I'm just having a grand old time. Glad to be here with you, my friends. This game, my friend. 
just having a grand old time and not dying at all and you know not not losing progress in any way here's the thing is even if i don't get these bonus points and you guys might be like oh joshua he, you missed another bonus round you fucked up again how's that going to deal with your your saves it will fuck up my saves a little bit but this game is password paced it's super old so i you know if i need to i can just zoop zoop my way back so we did a lot of fast forwarding on the slippery climb we're going to do lights out because, you know, as a special treat to you guys, this level is my least favorite of all time. So here we go. We're going to play my least favorite level of all time. We're going to have a good old grand old time. And uh, first we're going to get up in these high chairs. Let's search for treasure. So, fun fact, that was a mistake. This level, um, they do later levels in later games that are very similar to it. Basically the idea of these levels is that you have a light source and you've got to continue forward into the darkness, racing, never look back, because uh, if you do, you're going to run out of time uh, to use this. Uh, the brightness will go away, you know, but at the same time, it, it's just, you know, it's largely a task of, of great restraint because you've got, on one hand, you've got this clicking timer that's telling you basically like, oh, get, get going, get going, or you're going to, you know, you're going to run out of time to see, you're going to run out of visibility, and then you're going to be screwed, countered with this uh, other point of like, oh yeah, but, you know, that at the same time, if, if, you, if you move forward too much, you will just fuck yourself in a lot of ways so you've got to be patient you've got to be you know also ready to go forward so you've got to have that level of impatience and you've also got to have the ability to read the level and that's something that's especially hard i think for um for this game is reading the level because you you think you know how basically a jump or something like that's going to work out for you and then when it doesn't you're kind of uh just just fucked in a big way and if you don't have the ability to, to you know take that in and get used to it you're just not going to be able to progress not 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 going to be able to progress and you're, you're, you're not going to be able to progress yeah anyways Oh my god. Hey, can you imagine if I hadn't lost those 50 lives? I'd be on something like 75 lives. And with 75 lives, who knows if I'd be making these horrible, horrible noises in agony. Get all the way to the edge here. Oh, that screwed me over. Uh, that sound of the bukdaba. All right, good. Uh, yeah, apparently I hit. Alright, here's the third hazard, unknown to me previously. Um, if your, your mask breaks, if you take damage, you're kind of shit out of luck. Because your, your method of seeing is now gone. I'm sure there are people, though, you know, there are all these freaks. I say freaks, but, you know, I mean lovers of video games. That have had, um, that have, you know, through sheer just, you know, memorizing the map of the game, uh, gotten the ability to just run through these kinds of stages, even with their, you know, anything diminished. They don't have any trouble finding the, the light sources or anything. Like, they don't need it. They, they just know this level like the back of their hand. And visually, 
the level cues you in on just enough information that I could say that's possible. Just enough. Or audioly. Audioly. Oh, well. Oh. Though it doesn't tell you about that cliff. There's no sound for an open casket. That's poetry right there. You put that down on your website and you say Joshua Martin Corrales wrote that the day he died. He wrote, you know, that an open casket makes no sound. Joshua Martin Corrales, 2016, 2011, 2014, 2015. It's just funny, any tiny bit of progress I'm making in this level, I'm like, yeah, I'm really doing so great. Yeah! Ho! Oh. Beat that one too, guys, and that's just a fact for you. Well, we're, we're gonna cut. We're gonna take a break. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a break. I might just sleep forever. I might just look at. Why can't I go up there? Probably need both keys. But instead, I'm gonna go to the Jaws of Darkness, and I'll see you next time for the Jaws of Darkness. Woo! All right, see you.